Now in this particular use case, we are going to do BGP over GRE, right? So from the same location, we are, we are having a new router. Now we are going to do BGP over GRE to the same transit location, right? So how to do that? We have one location in on-prem. Now again, we will go to multi-cloud transit setup. We will go to this uh, external device, BGP, but this time over GRE from where you, we want to have that. We have to actually check from which region we are doing it, right? So just verify it again. Go to North Virginia. Back. Go to VPC. Go to VPC. Click this one. From this particular EE429, we are creating it. Go to uh, 429, this one. Connection name would be BGP over uh, GRE. Now, Avatrix uh, Transit Gateway, this we will we are creating transit to a new that seems fine. 65002. Remote Gateway IP would be uh, the public IP of the other end. So, we uh, let's say let's check which, which is the public IP on that end. Just go there and go to EC2. Go to EC2. New CSR, this is the public IP we are going to use. Go to Avitex controller, paste this IP, all other options are optional, click connect. Let's wait for this connection to be created. Connection has been created. Now, if you want to verify if there is a site to cloud connection form, just go and check this setup. A new connection will be formed. Now click edit. From here, we just go to the remote identifier. Now what we have to do, we have to actually check uh, the primary private IP of here. So just go here and uh, this is the elastic interface. So this is the private IP that we have to use. Go here and, oh, sorry, just copy it. Control C, copy it. Let's see if there is a space or something. Change the configuration. Now here we don't have to actually change the remote identifier because this is uh, uh, already a BGP over uh, GRE. So what we can do is we can go to the connection, just give a second, go to the setup, this particular setting, click edit. Now we go to Cisco, we go to ISR, ISR, download the configuration, click this one. Now, again, we have uh, our router router here. So just copy and paste the configuration, go to front C. Now from here, internal terminal number one, let's copy that. Z, control C, copy this configuration. Tunnel source, it's a gigabit ethernet one. That is the WAN interface that we are having and then copy paste this you can do that in one go as well you can paste the configuration but i do it in this way because it uh this seems to be like there is no error on it right so just do that configuration exit and do do write mem basically as i told you that we are doing uh bgp over gre here right so just wait for the connection now it is up yeah, so just go to here to see whether the configuration has come up or not. Yeah, so BGP connection is now up, right? Now, if we need to verify what we can do, we can again uh, go to our location, or the cloud location from where we have a uh, private instance running in. So just go there, click private via public VM. This is the IP that we have to access. Just Click the T, search key, sorry, auth, browse, test, open. Okay, so this is not the key. Now what thing we are actually checking here is that this is our ISR router. So if you check the BGP or GRE that is up from the last three minutes. Now how to verify whether the configuration is perfect or not. So just 
we can go to our private instance in the cloud we can do a ping to this uh, the subnet that is located here so if you go here and check the configuration of the subnet that we have done just give me a second so 70 or 70 or 70 or 70 is existing here so if you if i ping from the cloud instance i am able to do that right also if you want to verify from here so uh the thing that we needed to check was specifically from uh, uh, the private instance to that connectivity so now that is coming up actually so yeah that is specific to bgp over gre right so thank you for